so I'm going to start my Sims life. So I'm going to create my first character and then when I've created myself. So I decided I'd do myself because why not, you know? I just I thought it would be easier than coming up with names and just doing myself. So I'm going to try and make it look like myself as much as I can, but it's obviously not that easy. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go in, adjust everything, change it. I do think it's probably the best part of Sims, you know, you get into make the characters and then building it too. The best. Oh no, but then the gameplay is so fun too. Okay, I'll just I'll rule it as Sims is just amazing. And we'll leave it there, okay? Oh, it's just so fun making the sims you know being able to put the makeup on have the hairstyle the clothes style you want i just oh i love it it's amazing it's fucking amazing <laughs>
So I decided to change my trousers into some skirts because I practically live in them in like summertime anyway. So that is all my looks completely done. And now we go on to making my boyfriend Harry. <laughs> So I thought it was hard trying to make me on Sims and then trying to make someone else on Sims to look exactly like them is actually extremely hard and I'm already struggling. <laughs> and then now I'm going to go on to the hairstyle. So I have no idea which is the right one to use. It's kind of hard right now, but his hair's like all overgrown at the moment because obviously it was still in lockdown and nothing's open. So I think I'll do like just overgrown hair <laughs> see i just know he'd love those hats with a passion especially that one i'm gonna put a hat on him because normally he would wear a hat not much at the moment but <laughs> normally he would wear them and he'd wear them because his hair had overgrown so whenever i went to meet him for walks last year in lockdown <laughs> he'd be wearing a hat and most of the time it was a black hat so i'm just gonna stick with that and now to pick his everyday look, I'm just going to go with what he normally would wear, like the kind of clothes he'd wear when he's with me, so yeah. Now it is on to his formal look, so I'm going to try and come with some, you know, amazing outfit for him to wear, which is totally him. I think this is definitely a Harry vibe and he looks so damn good in that. And now we go on to the athletic wear. Now it is on to sleep, so I'm gonna come up with the best sleep outfit for him ever <laughs> which is definitely boxers with hearts on because that's a bit of him and then obviously pink slippers to match mine pink slippers i meant you know bunny slippers to match mine because and now it is on to the party look and i have already planned and saw what i'm gonna get him and it is this i think it's a robot outfit but i just think it's a whole level of extra it makes him stand out it looks so cool he is having it And yes, I am adding fucking star glasses. And now we are on to his swimwear look. And I'm not sure what to pick. Obviously, he's going to be topless because that's what he'd wear. And oh, yeah, I think I might just do that. <laughs> nah, those are perfect. But I think they look better in like a green colour. Yeah, way better. Now it is on to the hot weather. And obviously I'm thinking a vest and some kind of shorts for him to wear. And now to do cold weather. So obviously I'm going to have him in warm stuff to keep him warm. Duh. <laughs> and so now I'll just show you all of the outfits that I have planned for him. And the last thing is to just do his aspirations, all of that stuff, and his name. <laughs> 